I always try, I try and figure out the correlation between what I did that day mm. when I have a good day versus a bad day. Yeah. And I've, from, from your, and also I speak on stage sometimes, so I've often asked myself, because I saw Tony Robbins, yeah. the speaker one day, on a trampoline before he goes up on stage. Yeah. I asked myself, okay, should I be doing a workout in my green room before mm. I go up on stage yeah. for a big talk or presentation? Mm -hmm. You think I should? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What's the basis of that in science and neuroscience? Uh, it's the basis is that immediate effect. So there's three key effects that we know happen every time you move your body. First one is mood. You're going to get your dopamine, your serotonin up. Um, second is focus and attention. So, so a single workout isn't going to make more synapses in your prefrontal cortex, but the prefrontal cortex uses dopamine. And so um, it's clear that even a single workout can make your prefrontal cortex work better in terms of focus and attention. Also very important anytime you're speaking. And the third is reaction time. Your reaction time is, you know, motor, you're, you're, you're working your motor cortex when you move your body and your response and reaction time is significantly shorter after a, even a single workout compared to if you just don't work out and sit, sit um, alone.